this video, I'm going to show you the best zone beater in Madden, or at least one of them out of the gun bunch formation in the Washington Commanders offensive playbook. But you can actually find this play in any Madden 23 offensive playbook for the most part that has bunch. This play is pretty much a standard staple in bunch, but it's also one of the best plays this year for attacking man and zone coverage. The play is going to be verticals out of the gun bunch in the Washington Commanders playbook. If you're watching this video and you want to get more on the Washington Commanders offensive playbook, I do have a Washington ebook. Um, you can get that ebook by joining the Patreon. The link to sign up is going to be in the description down below. So verticals is a really powerful uh, play, really powerful concept year in and year out. It's really no different this year. There's a little subtle, there's some subtle differences um, that I think is worth being talked about in terms of how you can make this play maximum in terms of its effectiveness. Uh, and we're going to show you how to do that in this video. So the play is verticals. And what we want to do when we're running this play is generally speaking, I actually like to be um, on the short side of the field with my bunch. I like my bunch to be to the short side of the field. I'm going to show you why. Um, actually, let me show you why real quick. So what you're going to notice is if your opponent decides that they want to run some cover two, for example, there's two things that I want to point out. First and foremost, this tight end wheel route, this vertical hook is actually going to do a pretty good job of defending the tight end wheel. And the reason that this is the case is because of the hash mark that we are on. Madden zones are based off of a grid system, right? As much as they want to try to say that they've improved zone logic this year, I don't know that that's even close to being the case. Um, in some ways, they did improve the deep zone logic. The underneath zones are pretty much worse than last year. They don't flow very well by any means. And what this does is it leaves us with this basic grid system that the game is kind of based on so um, that being said you're going to notice that if i run this play to the short side of the field the vertical hook is essentially designed to defend from the hash mark to the numbers um, in terms of a horizontal space so now if i run this play against cover two you're going to notice that this is going to be a little bit more open up in the skinny of the scene now the other thing about this is cover two deep blue zones are actually worse um, interestingly enough they're actually a lot worse uh, to the short side of the field against vertical routes than they are to the wide side of the field. So what you're going to see here again, you see here, this vertical hook actually didn't do a terrible job, um, but I'm just telling you from experience, the vertical hooks are definitely not the best um, in terms of, you know, when you run this to the short side of the field. Now, this is also definitely true. If you take a look at this hook curl, you're going to see the hook curl comes inside. I'm able to throw this wheel route against zone with a very high success rate. Now, I want to talk about cover two. Uh, up this up the deep like the deep shot play so if they are truly in a cover two coverage a lot of people like to deep half to the short side of the field this year um, it's going to be a pretty big disadvantage for them you're going to see that this vertical wheel route is going to cut up field and you're just going to free form and pass me this up field and as you can see this is going to destroy cover two over the top this also is going to give us a cleaner animation or cleaner run for our left side of the field as well. So let's say that they are in a cover two defense. You're going to notice that Debo Samuel is going to get this outside release and we can free form and high ball up and outside. And sometimes you can actually attack uh, zone coverage very well. Now, this is also really good against press man to man coverage. So let's say that they're playing uh, like a cover run robber style of coverage. You're going to notice here that this outside receiver, actually, I need to sub Debo. I don't know if that's Debo over there. Let me make sure that Debo Samuel is over there because I do want to highlight one little thing with this. Um, and that is the short out elite ability. So if Debo Samuel is over on the left side of the screen, he has an ability um, that is called Short Out Elite. Okay? Short Out Elite is one of the best abilities in Madden for beating press man to man coverage. And in verticals, he has this kind of stock outside release fade. So, what you're going to see here is he's going to light up to the left side. And of course, as I say that he didn't, let me actually just hot route him to a standard fade or standard streak. And you should see um, that he should burn the press man. 
can you see here say so he gets that little animation see right there he gets that instant win we're just going to free form and pass lead it up and over the top and as you can see that is going to be able to cook man-to-man -man coverage now again it's not a hundred it's not a hundred percent i think it's like 99.9 percent .9 of the time though like he's gonna he's gonna light up and pretty much burn man uh pretty pretty well okay so you might need to just re-streak him but this is one of the best routes in the game or one of the best abilities in the game for beating man or attacking man-to-man uh, -man coverage it would be a little better if we were to the other hash mark but that brings me to my next point which is this verticals uh this deep crosser to cooper cup now to illustrate this best we're going to set some zone drops so the maximum depth that someone can set is a 30 yard flat zone so let's say that they are playing a 30 yard flat zone one of the popular defenses um in madden right now is basically a cover two double mabel um they may be you know kind of using cover four or the this is actually a pretty good defense issue like it's it's not terrible um but what you're going to notice is this route to cooper cup because we're running it to the short side he is actually going to clear over the top of that 30 yard cloud and i can throw that right over the top of the zone so if we were to run this to the other hash mark, there wouldn't be enough vertical space for Cooper Cup to actually be able to attack the zone coverage. So you see there's so much value in this in terms of how um, it is going to play, you know, against just your basic everyday zone coverage. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is, again, this vertical wheel in the seam is really valuable. Here's cover four. Um, this is a little bit of a tricky throw. You kind of want to freeform it and basically pass lead it straight down but against pretty much any zone in the game they're going to have to use her this crossing route um you know right about there free form pass lead down see how they kind of come off it um again you want to wait a little bit more on that um if you're getting a lot of cover four what i like to do is put this receiver on a post um, I think this is a great little variation of this. Some vertical plays have the running back on an in route. I think those are personally the best. Um, but if you want to block the running back, you certainly can block the running back. There's ways that you can deal with this. But you're going to get that same action from the wheel route. You're just going to get a little bit more um, space against a standard cover four. Now, if they're double Mabel coverage, then it's going to be a little bit different. One last thing I want to show you um, about this as it pertains to zone coverage, and we'll do a little brief section on man-to-man, -man, is this route to Debo Samuel can indeed, if you look at this, if I freeform and highball up and outside, sometimes he can actually clear the cover too. So there's a ton of value in this um, simple, uh, simple, simple setup. Now, there's some vertical plays that actually have Debo Samuel kind of fading to the outside a little bit more those are also really good for attacking zone because he the safety is going to struggle to get over there okay now last but not least let's talk about this play against man to man so what do you have um, against man coverage really the main thing that you have is they're going to do one of two things they're either going to shade underneath or they're going to play standard if they play standard you can quick throw this wheel to the sideline just like that right there so if they're going to play standard man to man you can just quick throw the, the running back wheel now, another thing that's becoming popular, though, to stop that, basically, is you're getting this, um, it's like cover, cover two stuff, cover two man stuff, where they basically are going to have to drop eight, but they're going to shade underneath. If they shade underneath, number one, Debo Samuel is a great option on this play, okay? Um, so you'll see right there, I'm going to freeform, pass it up and outside, and you see he's going to be able to attack the cover two man meta where they're shading underneath. The other thing that you have, and this is why one of my favorite adjustments is to put um, is to put Cooper Cup on a post. If you don't have a post, if you don't have a post, put him on a slant. Okay, just something to beat man more consistently than the crosser. And you're going to see right here, he is going to be able to beat man. So really simple setup from verticals. The wheels are incredible against zone. The crosser gets over every zone drop. And then if you wanted to, let's say you're thinking it's a little bit more man-centered, then put Cooper Cup on a slant or put him on a in route. Uh, or um, I'm sorry, a slant or a post route. And what you'll see is he will pretty consistently get some separation against man-to-man. -man. Generally speaking, you know, one of the big principles about man versus zone 
you want to run against man, you want to sit against zone, or you want to run in the seam against zone. Verticals gives you the ability to literally attack every defense in some way, and this is one of my favorite plays. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this offense, make sure to join our Patreon. That's where you'll get access to the entire offensive ebook on the Washington Playbook, as well as several other offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.